Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to the end of Resident Evil. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm not, I'm not wasting any of your time. These are the final boss fights that we're about to go through. So, if you're here looking for the final boss fights and final cutscenes, you came to the right place. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. You're no, also you lying. Don't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. Meaning he didn't actually I take his family. I Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. So yes. He never really had Barry's family, and... That is how it really goes canon. He, he is, he's, they think, uh, Umbrella thinks he's working for him, but he is here to take what he wants to defect, pretty much. So yes, Resident Evil 2 means that it is the organization involved. The organization. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know? I hate goodbyes. Barry! He says his name so many... Me? He says his name no, just... No, you're not to blame. In a it's snippet. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Like, she, she so many times said, Barry, 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 Barry. Like, just the inflection changes, that's all. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? Hmm. What? Premature. Yep. No, Barry! Yeah, running at him was the- Viral cultured freak. Yeah, run straight at him when you just see Wesker get bitch slapped by him. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to do. Oh, I can't believe I let myself get hit twice like that. I mean, I know better than that. Let me go, let me go over here and be like, what a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. The observation notes, uh, discovery of the G-Virus. So we're already seeing G-Virus. He was here, he was already on his own mission, um, which led into Resident Evil 2. The prototype parasites, which is actually um, the thing that actually combined with the, I believe, the tyrant that made the um, nemesis. So all of these, you can slow down and read the notes, but all of this breakthrough is William Birkin. So. William Birkin and Alexia is mentioned in this now, so. So you know it's getting serious, but Wesker looks deadish and still kind of canon. Barry! Barry! 
sorry. Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. Yeah. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Even though this uh, playing it this way lets you see events uh, from the perspective of, of these guys, uh, Chris's version of the campaign is actually the canon one with Barry still working behind the scenes and stuff. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. So, you got the self-destruct, and yes, the, the canon is that Barry works against, Barry ends up being the one to help put Jill in a cell. And Wesker doesn't just magically disappear, he gets, he's thwarted pretty much, he feels, by Chris in all of this. Um, so, oh wait a second. All locks. What am, what am I doing? So, um, that's why he has a vendetta against Chris. He thinks Chris is the reason why things kind of went wrong and why he had to inject himself to save himself. He had to use a prototype virus to save himself from that fatal wound because it, that B.O.W. wasn't taking orders yet. Not from anybody. Not even Wesker. Anyway, that's enough for me spouting random lore. How about we uh, make sure that everyone lives through this, shall we? Don't want to pull a chicken heart on here or anything. All three MO disc. All three placed in three different slots because they have to go in three different places. And this door is unlocked. And now that you hear the blaring that's going on in the background incessantly, uh, that blaring is saying that all locks released. So, I could have come down here earlier and shown you would have seen a cutscene of her talking through the grate, but now it's actually a completely different cutscene if you don't ever talk to him. So, the lock is released. Saving time by not having to, to show you a different cutscene than you'd probably usually see. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are, too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. So you pretty much take Chris's story and mush some of Jill's stuff in it, and you get Resident Evil 1 canon lore. Or you just read the comic graphic novel thing that they, like, cleared it up in, made it, made it clear as clear as dirt they like they like retconning come on let's go whenever possible when it makes it a little bit more convenient for them so so all locks are released everything's going down Wesker apparently escapes the room and does the self-destruct whatnot. Okay. Let's get on over here. And I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna skip the credits because there, in the credits there are, there is copyrighted music. That music would get me uh, just a smidgen of of hate from YouTube. So skipping the credit music, no big deal. It's fine. Come on, come on, hurry! So I'm. I, I, it's not that I'm meaning to skip anything on you guys to show you guys the the ending of the game, but um, by the way, also this one is a full heal. The other one is just an herb. So I can go ahead and just examine this one and replace the one I use, which is why I wasn't worried about going by uh, somewhere else to get another one. This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel must be 
All right, it's our last chance. Also, the game more than once, the series has ingeniously made you pick something up at the very end, like this. You must pick this up because there's an item that you must also pick up later. So it just does this arbitrarily to make sure you have an empty slot. That is why this item is there. So you, ha so you have an empty slot. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Oh my god. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? Oh my god. All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Oh, those lines were almost as bad as the original Resident Evil. Oh god. Oh. That hurts, it, like, my soul. At least it's... At least we didn't hear Jibble Sandwich. We heard Barry say, say, uh, a moment later and you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. With Jill being just like, yeah, no panic, no panic at all. So, we go ahead and, since we're running out of time, take this. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna do that and use it. Hey, you deserter! Is this a big enough signal for you, asshole? I'm setting out Fourth of July fireworks. Hmm? Jill! You made it! And the timer made it too. Bitch slap. Reload. Nope. He always attacks with that, you know, giant claw, so you wanna be safe, just I don't know. Try not to be on the the bad end of the giant claw? Makes sense, doesn't it? Like that. You don't want to do that. You see how I did that? You don't want to do that. That's the thing you don't want to do. So... Because I had to reload. Oops. And he was only like a shot or two off. Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Yeah, it's gonna bitch slap Barry, but... Ah. And it's dead. Ending! And this would be Jill's best ending. Actually going and saving Chris. And not taking Barry's gun away from him because he'll go over the edge if you do. Oh yeah, kaboom. He'll go over the edge. Uh, get, he'll get knocked up by Lisa. So. Gotta give him his gun back or he's doomed. Into the sunset, rise. Whatever they're, whatever he's pilot, piloting into, is the whatever. Good for him. Jill, you did a fine job. No, I didn't. You see that? That is the maximum amount of time you can actually put on this, which means I let it. I did do it. I I was sitting here going, you know what? After I did episode ten, I think I just left the the it on pause, like, and did other things for a long while. And I was like, oh, I gotta save it. And then played other things, and then finally now I've come back to it. I, I racked up so much time. So much time! That's like an impossible amount of time. So, it's alright. You get a new costume and everything, but we don't have to worry about that. I've, I've done better than that. So, 
this is where we see that I've actually done better than that, and I've uh, uh, ret returned this tile screen without saving. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with doing that. We're good with doing that because I don't need to. I've already got better saves and better everything's and better stuff to be able to bring this back to you with Chris as a long play. Um, Trying to go through his story as fast as possible if I do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this so you have a bearing or a grasp something on what's going on before Resident Evil 2 happens, which is coming out in mere... It's probably by the time you would even get to this, it's out. So if you're watching this to get to that, thank you for joining me. Thank you for... For giving the two year skip, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here for Resident Evil 2, that remake, or if you wanna watch the original Resident Evil 2, uh, I actually am gonna have that playlist up. Uh, either one! Hope to see you back here for those really soon. Bye!